Okay, people. Let's say this right here is the Bible. And it talks about someone named Jesus. And it said this Jesus guy walked on water. Right? You know the old, you know, what they call a, a hot telephone or something? Uh, the schoolyard thing where you, you tell your friend something, he tells his friend something, and, you know, by the time it makes it to the eighth graders, uh, w one of the kids in your class ha is now president of the United States. You know how things get twisted from person to person to person to person. I think that's basically what the Bible is. I, I, I think it's been a lot of stuff that has been twisted many times over, probably not only by the people in the Bible, probably by, you know, Humanity, which is the way we work. So I've come up with a mathematical formula like this. Like, you know, I've got some letters and symbols. And, you know, I've been watching a lot of pirate software, obviously. And it's just, I don't know, something clicked. So let's take it for what it is, a story. So we're going to assume it's a story that's been told for some reason. So let's boil it down. So it's a story about a man. And apparently this man walked on water. <laughs> well, that's not really feasible. You know, people don't really tend to walk on water. Let's boil it down. Let's take religion out. Let's take everything out. Let's just use some common sense. So how would someone get across water? And why would a story be so important that people are telling it for, you know, let's say 6,000 years? Plus, I know that's going to piss off a lot of people, but le le let's just assume this story is well older than 6,000 years. Let's just, you know, give it that one right there. Why would somebody talk about a, a story? Why would a story be so important to be told about a man who, you know, theologically they say walked on water? Well, I would boil it down to maybe this man was just very smart and maybe the story just wasn't very well told and people like to admit things to make the story more miraculous. But let's just say this man came up with something like this. Oh, that was a little messy over there. Let's just erase that so people can actually get an idea of what I'm talking about. Right? So... Oh, you're going to do that. So I have to go like this. Nah. So back to what I was saying. Maybe he created something. You know, maybe this something just happened to be a bridge. And this man, who we've been talking about for 16,000 years, who may or may not have been named Jesus, or Jesus, or Zhu, or Zhao, or Jing, really built the world's first bridge. Because I think that's more reasonable than a man walking across water. So, and I, I think that story would be more beneficial especially if it came with said instructions on how to build the bridge and walk across water. So that, that's, uh, I'm boiling that down to this. And I'm assuming with every single story told throughout the entire Bible or any theological text, it can probably all be boiled down to a lesson that was very important to pass on in a time when nobody wrote anything down, when the story went from person to person and we all started playing this magical game of hot telephone. I think a lot 
of the misconceptions of humanity, the theological misconceptions throughout probably all biblical adjacent texts and biblical texts could probably all be boiled down exactly like this. So, sorry? <laughs> <laughs>